Hello everybody and welcome back. Looking at our beautiful Junker aircraft that we have here. Or oh, it's actually Donier. It's a Donier one. And as we can see, we're making some profit here at the moment with our passenger transportation. One plane though is enough. So there's really no more demand than that. We do have a few people sometimes waiting. Um, those guys here, they just arrived. I don't know how she came to be on a plane, but no idea it doesn't matter it's just still working for some reasons and as we can see there are now eight people already with the next bus being transported to the airport so at the moment low amount of passengers but it is growing no doubt no doubt about that so we're getting more and more passengers than with the planes especially the more we can take right so that is that meantime while we were playing around with the planes and all so there's also lots of food transportation up so let's just check real quick we are at 160 percent as we can see now here food is boosting it by another 10 percent from now on so hopefully this is increasing now we were talking about lots of planes in the last episode something big has happened though in the meantime and that is we finally have a breakthrough of new locomotives look at our old locomotives how they look by now rusty slow um you know unreliable and really not powerful and it's about to change so let's manage this oil line while we look at it we do have two locomotives on it and i want to replace them and let's just see there it is the flying scotsman and the flying scotsman is so much more powerful it's a steam locomotive once again but it has the same power as the crocodile and it is twice as fast this is huge twice as fast as the crocodile and also as, as powerful as it and that is twice as powerful as the old locomotives that is really big so let's just check that go a tank car and look how many we can actually squeeze on it it's still excellent you know even so many of them cost me 20 million we do this and there the flying scotsman is now working it's a beautiful locomotive is it the harry potter locomotive it looks pretty similar and as we can see, it is also much faster than especially when it goes up. I mean, this one not anymore really because it's coming in onto the station now. But other than that, this is going to revolutionize our train system once again because we can carry really huge amounts of stuff now in one direction and extremely fast as well. This is especially important for our passenger transportation. The passenger transportation, as we know, is very low at the moment. So these locomotives, the old ones, they cannot really carry that many passengers. They're limited to 70 only. And also this is about to change. We are doing this on our most important passenger train line right away. The passenger Riverdale Yarmouth, as we can see, hugely profitable. Let's just check that real quick. Oh yes, this is the one with 5 million at the moment. So this is an extremely profitable train line at the moment let's switch all of them with the flying scotsman there he is and some beautiful donnerbox uh, <laughs> passenger cards and look at that how many it's incredible right it's twice as long it costs 55 million to do that change but it's worth it we do have a problem train 14 train 15 where is that what are you guys doing here? Why are you stopping there anyway? Oh, he wants to go to the left there because he's... Huh. This is a problem. And this is a problem that is totally unnecessary because what we can see here is this one wants to go on the other track, of course. I don't know why I did it here. It's way too early because when a train stops here, this train here cannot go to, the, to those tracks there, you know, and as long as, uh, as the train gets longer, this problem would be more and more, um, yeah, would be bigger and bigger. So we need to do something about that. We're going to merge those tracks already close to the station. So here, this is where it needs to happen. The same thing with those ones. Yep, that's the one. And here we can already do it like this as well, going closer and closer to the station. The station we can make longer than anyway. Um, but for now, this is more important. Um, of course, for these trains, it's too late. We will also need those signals then that are here at the moment. We will need to have these signals then here. Right, so that he stops already in this, this area. This train here, I need to make shorter now. For the meantime, just for now. Right, and now it's shorter and it should work. And there it is. Oh, 
right? And now I can make him longer again. But that is working out. And there we got the Flying Scotsman coming in with lots of cards. Beautiful. Beautiful train there now. Really long and there shouldn't be a problem with capacity anymore. Via Hornsey there are 115 people waiting. Via Yarmouth only 53. So he's not going to be even full here at the moment. So I hope he's not going into negative now just because of that. Should still be fine, right? And they're also nicely detailed, as we can see. Beautiful. Another thing that we still want to do is here the construction materials plan. As we can see, the shipment is now quite close to completion, so this could level up then. Problem though is at the moment, transport is already 100% to three cities. That is not enough. We do need a fourth city. And when we look around, there are not that many cities around that would like construction materials. Only one that I can think of, and that is Yarmouth. And the cool thing about that is we already have the tracks. We don't even need to do anything else here, except, well, here, having the cargo platform that we have now. And this track here will be done for the cargo. So all we need to do now is merging it with the other ones, which will be a bit difficult, I think. Is it working? No, this is too much curvature. It's not working, unfortunately. So once again, we will need some... Either we make it like that, or we move the streets. And I think we're going to move the streets. Sorry, pals. This is hurting, but it's necessary. Um, as we can see, <laughs> they're growing um, right away again. What we might do is... I'm going to expand it. And here we have a crossing. Right? This is better. And then, let's just pause it before he does it, uh, does it again. Right. I need the tracks. The tracks are going then into this one. And the same one with those tracks here. Is this working? This is working. Very good. They're coming together. And here, once again, merging with the other ones. That's that. So now we have everything here. We have also... Oh, right. There's still something we need to do here. We still have, which is very strange, the passenger platform here. And instead of that, we're going to have now the cargo platform. And now the symbol is popping up. Very good. And now we can use this one for construction materials as well. Going then all the way to the other side and here. And this should actually work now right off the bat if everything is well. Let's have a look. Train, construction, four. Should have probably added the name of the city here. Ah, we could still do this. It's going to be in Ripen once again and goes right to Yarmouth. Now for this one though, yeah, we cannot do it that simply because we still need to follow the rules of the tracks. That is this one, the waypoints that we have. So it still needs to be, of course, on the right side. Otherwise, it would just take the most direct way and then we would certainly have an almost crash or something like that. And this is the moment of truth. It is connecting. Very good. So that's it. Nothing else needs to be done here. Um, we are going to have this waypoint here once more. And then it's ending in Ripen once again. In what track? On what platform? Platform 2, I think. Here. Which should be fine. It's away from the passengers. That is important. So they can just go through. And this looks good. This is train construction 4. Let's just have another Flying Scotsman on the way. Flying Scotsman. There you are. With construction materials. And off it goes. A new Flying Scotsman. Sees the day of light. Now, what happens with the construction plant? This should now go, now go up. It does. Shipment is climbing, as we can see. Of course, this will also lead to a higher stone consumption. It's actually going down. As we can see, it's leveling, leveling up now. Very good. We don't have enough stone. I already have the ships. The ships are full, by the way. This one here, too. This one will be full then as well, right away. And they're making a nice profit. 
Yeah, almost full. How much was it for this one here? Profit is now, can I click on that? 900,000. And as we can see, there is the stone, it's leveling up. Um, but that is not enough. We're going to have another shipping route and that is this query. Far away, there is another one. This one should also have the Chesham, there it is. Very good, so all we need here now is another port, another harbor. Right, Joe, a smaller street connection perhaps. Hmm, it does not have the query. Oh, the query does not have a street connection itself yet. Now it is. Now it should be working very good, we have it. And now we can have another ship for stone being then delivered also to that area there. I love how all these things are connecting. Look at that. We can see whether the planes are crossing in the air. We can see where the ships are crossing in the in the river, on the river. And we can see where all our trains are and buses are. And it's coming together so nicely after a while. So we have Buxton Port. This is ship stone 2. And ship stone 2. We don't need a new shipping shipyard. We can just use this one here. Are there any new things? Nope. Right, we still have the Schaffhausen. Seems. Oh. This looks... Oh no, it's just bigger. But it's older. Right, so that we use the Schaffhausen once again. I think two times will be fine for the shipstone too. And out they come. I'm also going to say on this route only leave the Buxton port when you're half full, at least half full, right? That is important. Otherwise, those ships will just go empty-handed now. And, yeah, very good. The first stone is already piling up in Buxton port. Let's have a look at the construction plant real quick. There it is. It has upgraded. It has a tower now as well. You can see that right away. Beautiful. And we really, really do need more stone here now. I hope the quarry up here delivers more now or produces more because it's really important. Let's just check our lines there real quick. Train construction is actually making the most loss right now, my construction trains, because they're not full most likely. Shipstone, that is okay. And everything else is actually making profit, I think. Yeah. Train stone, that's, that's a problem though, that those that that is not working as intended. The rest is making profit. The most profit we get out of our passenger train lines and the air food now. Air food is making 2.7 million. That is amazing. So the food delivery here makes a lot of profit there for each plane. And the cool thing about that is, first of all, we should now have way more food available here. Yes, it's boosting by plus 20 now. As we can see, we're close to 200% boost here and already 500 people in Sleepy Hollow. More and more skyscrapers appear. And uh, on the other side in Bolton. Oh, yes. They're, they're, what? There are 77 people waiting right now to fly. It can't be that they all came by bus. Is that right? Ah, it might actually be. Oh my gosh. I need more planes. I need way more passenger planes. The Dornier Mercure. Let's have two more on the way. And thus the airlines are exploding, I think. We have way too many people. Look at that. I need bigger planes from now on. Yeah, five people. Thank you. That's it. Holy moly. And of course, the connection to the airports itself will also be way more important than at some point. Um, well, where am I? There I am. Let's have a look here. 58 are waiting. Incredible. I did not expect that such a quick growth. Here especially what we might have is then a train connection to the airport soon. Where are the buses? There are not that many waiting here though. Huh. No idea. Wait. We still wanted to um, modernize our trains. Passenger trains. There we get Boltum Lithum. Oh wait a second. It's here. There we have it. Train passenger Bolton Lithum. It's an old train. Also with the Flying Scotsman. Let's 
And Ripen Sleepy Hollow has actually the electric train, but we can change that to the Flying Scotsman too. It's just way more powerful and faster, and fast is good. And Riverdale, yeah, we have that already. I think that's it, right? Yep, that should be it for now. So this should make it a bit better. And as we can see, very fast upwards here. The Flying Scotsman, 60 kilometers an hour, where the other one was only able to pull 40. Hmm, it's just a pity that we cannot boost this one here further because we only have one consumer. Might deliver it at some point to the airport and from there with plane to other cities. That might be something we can do. Alright, and look at that. This train is full with 153 people on board. Those passenger trains, they're going to be the most profitable thing, I think, in this world. Because, and that's the huge because, they're never empty. You know, each station they empty and refill. Other, especially my cargo transportations, um, the planes, for example, always empty one way at least. So that's a big difference. The passengers are always full, or at least have something, some cargo on board. And that is important. Right, so we might be thinking then of new ways for the passenger transportation as well. One thing that I wanted to do from the beginning was our mountain road that we have here. It's so beautiful. And we do have Harrogate, which is actually growing quite quickly. 250 people. There's nothing here. But it has something, and that is a beautiful connection to the outside. And we're going to use that in a panorama bus tour. Right, so first of all, in Harrogate, I'm going to have a road depot. Once again, let's have it further outside. And then we're going to have a bus tram stop. So we're going to have a, an internal bus line once again that goes through the city center. All the way up here. And then also around this block and here. right -o, and then through the center there again. To the other side, here. This is our first one, Harrogate. That's a pretty cool name for a city. It's starting, going through the center, taking a turn. Through the center again and back home, York Road. This is bus Harrogate 1. Alrighty, and we can already have some vehicles on this now. Let's make three for now. And this is the bus Harrogate 1. Now there's another bus line that is using the central bus stop here already, taking all the way around this one. And coming out here then again, connect, yeah, right to the main station. Absolutely perfect. We don't need to do anything else anymore. We just take it and then this one. And as we can see, taking the whole road here now. And this is Boss Sleepy Harrow. And in that case, what should we have on this route? The normal buses? I think so. I hope there are better buses coming than in the future. But for now, that's it. Bus, uh, where do we have it? Bus Sleepy Harrow. There it is. That's pretty cool. Let's just also modernize the street on it. I think we can do that with the country road, medium country road that we have there. This should be possible. An absolutely beautiful road. I did not build that. So that is just purely randomly generated here. Right, going right into the city again, and there we have it. I would be totally ready to be the bus driver on this road. There's the bus already. He is going to fight his way there through the through the mountain. Beautiful. And I'm going to shut up now and you can just watch this beautiful scenery ride and we see each other in the next episode. Stay tuned.